Mayor, first off, congratulations. Oh, thank you so much. Let's start. Were you ever concerned that you weren't going to get this second term? Well, I think you always have to be concerned if you're going to campaign seriously. So and that's what we did, and that's why we prevailed, I think. So now that you have this second term ready to go, what's kind of your first step that you would like to accomplish? Well, we're going to keep going to help SIU build enrollment. Uh, this May, in fact, you're going to see new banners go up all over Carbondale. Uh, we're cooperating with SIU on those. And uh, we're going to make um, Carbondale a better place for everybody. And we're working on the coalition of the mayors on the Route 13 corridor and get us all together and market us as one. Well, I want to say congratulations once again, Mayor, and we're joined by your lovely grandson that's holding a nice big picture of your here. So. Yeah, we're going to make our second trip to Washington, D.C. Uh, next week, actually. We go uh, the city, SIU, and certainly health care all go together out there. Uh, Senator Durbin has helped us set this up, as well as Congressman Voss. And uh, from the city standpoint, we'll be meeting with the head of the Department of Transportation to see what we can do to move our grant for our multimodal center up the scale. Uh, we were up this year from where we were last year, but didn't quite make the final cut. Uh, it's an $18 million project. We're looking for 80% from the federal government. And it's a regional pro uh, project. It's not just a train depot. Uh, but it'll be a much better experience for our students. They can't even all get in the station we have now. Uh, we'll be able to have retail in it and even a daycare center, which would maybe which would allow folks to drop their kids off and travel to their work destination and come back and pick the kids up and go home. So it's real important to our region to move people around. Uh, SIU will be talking about some initiatives they need, uh, funding from the federal government, so on and so forth for research. Southern Illinois Health Care will be talking about their issues separately. But we all talk together then about this multimodal center and some other things where we're all uh, on the same page with it and the same people need to listen to us. So. Sadly, SIU's enrollment is down a lot compared to what it used to be. What is kind of the city's hand in trying to help them bring up that enrollment? Well, you know, the, to me, the downtown revitalization was key to, uh, to helping them. Uh, to me, when, we're, when we have uh, parents and freshman students coming in, we're selling the parents on the city. Uh, the university selling the university and we need to look like we're up and coming doing something progressive we were the last city uh, universe uh, that has a university in Illinois to do this but we got it done and we have phase three to go which will happen in 2020 you know we have an economic development director a full-time economic development director in Stephen Mitchell now and he is always looking for new opportunities and so on just in in 2018 we had 18 new or new businesses in Carbondale or businesses here that did substantial remodelings to stay here. So we're seeing these new businesses come. It means investors have faith in, in what we're doing and where we're going. Uh, the businesses that are for sale are, are the people are retiring. Uh, it's just that simple. They're going businesses, they're doing all right, but the folks are ready to retire. And they have various reasons for that. I know them all personally. So uh, I don't view that as a, downs a downsize for us. It's just a change in ownership, and we'll go on from there. We have some people interested in Hangar 9, for in instance, that uh, have experience in that kind of venue and doing very successful in other university towns. So hopefully they'll come here. We'll see what happens. Is there anything that you want to mention about anything you're working on or you want to say or make the public known about that I might have missed? Well, I can't think of anything. There's there's just a lot of, a lot of things going on. I mean, we're working on... Um, uh, a permanent shelter for, for the homeless to help Good Samaritan House get to a better spot, maybe in a city building that we have uh, where the old city hall used to be. And, uh, and by us getting that building to them, the appraised value could help be their matching part of grants and so on and really grow that facility, get more social workers in there to work with them and help the less fortunate people in our society. So that's another really important thing that is on the burner right now that we're working on.